on Married Espresso Press Design. Welcome. Thank you for joining me today. We're going to do another 12 by 12 in the series. But first, the usual. It's um, April 9th. Beautiful. Seems like it's going to be a beautiful sunny day. 2024. And um, of course, it's sunny today barely saw the eclipse but oh well so um, thank yous and appreciation to everyone who watches comments is a customer uh, gives kind reviews etc so thank you to Bev Christine Susan Sherry Kathy and Jack Thank you to everyone who has been purchasing vintage seed catalog labels. They've been flying off the shelf, so to speak, so I appreciate that very much. So new products, um, I'll do that and then I'll show you uh, something from last week and then what we're going to make today. Uh, this is Postel collage papers. Um, Distress Mandala Paper Collection. Love this. Can't wait to um, do some things with this. And, and Poppies is also on Shopify and it has ephemera. And just printed off these little labels here. And it also comes with two books. A very cute little um, praying book with poems and drawings of poppies and another vintage book, Wild Poppies with poems. So you get that all included with that with those Shopify or curated collections where you get everything you need to make a junk journal. Well, not, I'm sure you'll want to add your own things, but everything you need for a good start to a junk journal. So I thought you might want to see that I um, put some of the tabs we did last week in my little collage book. And I love these things. Can't wait to do some more. So there we go. Love them. Love how they look. Love how they accentuate a page. Did a whole bunch. I finished that little stack that I had and cut out some more. So we might be doing that again next week with some different ideas that I forgot to um, show. So today you'll need a 12 by 12. And what we're going to make is this little um, pocket folder, which I made from the ephemera sheets in my um, paper pad that I rarely use. So I just thought it would make a nice overall pattern if you fold it correctly, and it did. And you can use a single side or double side with this. And it has one, two, three, four pockets. And there's another one. And it's the, quite roomy. So you can fit a lot of stuff in there. And the actual beauty of this is that all these little pieces of ephemera scraps coordinating from the same paper pad, I am just going to store in there. And then when this is ready for its final destination, I will um, make something with those. 
and the closure is a bookmark which remind me to tell you something when we get to the design of this if you want to use the same kind of closure so um, this is also a little gift that will go with it when it gets completed and I think it's I think they're very cute quite easy and um, it was inspired by Septeria but I did change the design a little bit I will post a link to her um, to her video you might like hers better so and you can work with any type of paper you want let me go back to this a second the only page if you're using single-sided the only page that will be white that will end up white is this page right here and I just cut another little piece of paper glued that down before I glued these this pocket to cover the white so you might want to keep that in mind if you're going to use single-sided today I'm using double-sided because I didn't want to do another one with the same paper so I have double-sided as you can see so you'll need a 12 by 12 you'll need a scoreboard or a scoring tool you'll need some glue some scissors I'm going to be using my trimmer but you can use scissors okay so the hardest part is if you're going to use this like I am figuring out how you're going to begin and then you're going to turn it and make sure everything is going the way you want so after you learn I would suggest double checking and I'm kind of if I was smart I would have took a picture of that before I folded everything <laughs> then I could know this one was going to be the way I want but I'm pretty sure it's going to go the way I want so I'm just going to begin <clears throat> so our first score is going to be on six inches you're going to cut off your branding strip of course to get a true 12 by 12 and then you are to turn it counterclockwise yeah but I'm going to turn it clockwise because I want my two inch side to be over here so then you're going to turn it a quarter turn and then we are going to score at five and 10 so we're going to be coming back to the scoreboard so then I'm going to turn it back to my 6 inch score and I'm going to fold and I'm going to fold my 5 And then I'm going to fold my two. So see, I wanted mine to go that way. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to that little two inch side where our score, score mark is at the two inch. And we're going to cut a little V. Oh, and I forgot, you might need a punch. I mean, it's not entirely necessary, but you might want to punch your corners. So there's our first little pockets. And 
and then we are going to come over to the left side and we are going to cut to that middle score line. Okay, so we're going to cut that and we're just going to fold that back for a second. And then I'm going to come to this left side and I'm going to flip it so that I can make another quarter inch score, three quarter inch score. And then I'm going to fold that in. Okay, so you see what that's going to do. And then this little tiny piece in the corner, that little tiny piece, we're just going to remove that. Start here. I hope I don't get goofed up doing the center pocket. So there is the beginnings of our folder. So let me get a corner rounder here. Okay. I'm just going to round this corner. And then I'm going to trim this little flap with a little notch will be another little angle cut there and then that goes like that okay so then this is going to be our pocket here so we are going to want to notch here I also forgot to say that so let's just put that in there and I moved mine kind of up to the top so that I can line it up with my second pocket and save those little save these when you cut these pockets okay so that's going to go like that and like that And this one is going to go like that. So then this one, we are going to fold until it meets up almost with that middle six inch score line. And this is where my design is different than hers. So then that's going to become our center pocket. See how that's going? Like that, like that, like that. 
like that. Okay. Okay. So we are going to glue this here and here. No, wait. Here, here, and here. And then we're going to trim that off. And that's why I'm going to be using the uh, guillotine. I'm going to glue this. Actually, I taped this on the other one so that I could get the max room. But I'm just going to glue this today. Hopefully. I left my stopper out of my glue again. It's a mess. I'm just going to try to um, put the thinnest bead there. So that um, actually, I'm not even, yeah, actually, it is. I don't remember, um, I just remember having to do two sides on the other one. Maybe I folded that wrong. Yeah, maybe I should have folded it the other way. Folded it over so that I didn't have to glue the bottom. You see what I'm saying? If I would have folded it the opposite, the fold would have been my bottom. So keep that in mind, but that's okay. I like the uh, I like the pocket being a pattern. Otherwise, it would have been this back pattern. I think I only did this once. So forgive me. And then we're going to glue this so that our paper doesn't go the whole way through. And then we're going to pop it in the guillotine to cut that little edge. See that coming? Hope I was in frame for this. <laughs> okay, so there we go. There's our little pocket. So I'm just going to get the guillotine. Now this is where hers was different than mine. So I'm just going to get the guillotine. Take a tiny sliver off there. So that I have a pocket. Just going to let that glue dry a minute. But there we go. And then... I'm going to eyeball my um, going to go almost to the top and eyeball that. And I really don't need it for this one. 
but for the other one, since my paper was white, I saved that piece and glued it in there to hide the white. That's why I said save those. So there we go, is that. And then remember not to glue this inside here. You want it to flap. So we're just going to glue down here. to hold that for a minute. And I'm going to flip this back over. Actually, I should have glued this pocket first before I began even assembling that side. And there we go. Okay, so I do not have any ephemera from this paper pad. So I guess that turned out okay. I was worried about that little bird, but he's fine. If that bothers me, I'll just put something over him. So there is our little four pocket folder and it's quite roomy. So let me just get my ephemera here. Now if, if you want a corner bookmark, I wish I would have made mine four inches wide. Pull this a little off. Make sure I get that. This is nice paper. This is DCWV. I got it from uh, Joanne's. And it was a steel. If you want. This was three inches. I wish I would have done it four inches. And that's just a handy Trump bookmark. Okay. But what I want to tell you is if you want to put a tab on this pocket and a closure. Remember, you're, you're going to have to put your tab up a little bit and it even smaller and higher if I did this as a 4-inch bookmark closure. Those papers even go with that. <laughs> That's amazing. Okay, so let me just get some ephemera here and show you. And I just clip that both sides, or punch that both sides, because technically you could use it, flip it either way. So I just put the notch through both of them rather than maneuvering my punch in there to try to, um, you know, go differently. And then. Here's that. And there's that. It's amazing how well those papers coordinate. And there's your little book. So 
So, of course, if you wanted to decorate it more, you could, but I am, these I am keeping as a stash. And I might do another one just for my reference. And then when they're ready to go, And when I begin using this paper pad more, I'm sure I'll end up with some scraps. And there's the back. I didn't show you the back. I like the back, actually. But I would never, I rarely use those papers, so why not just use it as an overall pattern? If you do it right, it turns out fine. And the only little really the only little odd thing is um, that little bird going sideways but that doesn't really bother me so if I wanted I could just pop something over it a little flower or something so when I begin using that paper pad I will I'm sure I will have a bunch of little scraps to decorate it. So okay everyone. I'm hard to believe that only took 27 minutes. But that's pretty much it for this week. Let me get these nice let me get these on something a little nicer. My green pad there and I hope I was in view the whole time. Without my green without my green cup mat I forget where I'm supposed to be. Okay, thank you for joining me this week, and um, I'll post the link to Septeria's design, and um, you might like that better. If not, um, it's pretty much all the same. Okay, everyone, I'll see you next time. Thanks again. Bye.